today I'm going to look at how we can use dependent and what do I mean with that? So to get started, I have a data set here, which has continent, country, says representative, and amount. And our objective is to come and select Africa. Only African countries should be populated in this list here. For example, if I select Asia, only Asian countries are now populated here. Then if I select Japan, I expect only sales representatives from Japan to be shown up, showing up here. And when I select that representative, the amount related to that person in the, that fulfills all these three conditions, value gets picked up here. As you can see, now we have Asia, and the person is right here. So let's jump into it and get started. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a drop down for the continent. And to do that, I need a unique list of the continent. So I'll type con unique and go to my list here and say, give me a unique list of the continents. That's good. The next thing is to do a drop down based on that unique list. Do a drop down, you go to insert, then you check for uh, insert, run down, see drop down, click on that. And our drop down is from a range and our range is on this sheet I've called master. Pick that, say okay, close that rule, go back to the sheet, and you're gonna see that your continents are populated here. That is the first easy step. Now the next step is that whatever is populated in the country column, should depend on what is selected here. So what do I mean? If Africa is selected here, then the drop down here should have only African countries. Drop is selected here, then the drop down in country column should have only European countries. So to do that, we need a helper column, which we are gonna use and we are going to use this column to do our filter function. And what we are saying is what we want to return, the filter function always says what we want to return. We want to return countries. And those countries we want to return are based on a condition. And our condition is that the continent should be equal to what is selected. So that's why I'm saying select all countries that meet the condition of those of that continent. Now, you can see when Europe is selected here, only European countries are populated here. I go and select Africa, only African countries are populated. If I select North America, you can see we have a dynamic list of countries which is filtered out based on this dropdown. But that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we have a dropdown which will depend on this filtered list. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to prepare another dropdown and I'll use this as my range. So, um, insert a drop down, insert drop down, and this is K, if I go there, not this is K2 to K6. Need to, so what I need to do, insert a drop down from a range, 
Now, because this one is hiding the, the range, I can just do like this. And I say, I want K2. Pick values in K2 to K6. To do this, you need to have the range. So you do that. And then let's test. I've selected North America. So North America countries are populated here and also North American countries here. Now, when I come and select South America, expect only South American countries right there. I select Africa, only African countries right there. Hope you get the idea. Now, having selected Africa, and African countries are populated here. The next thing I want to do is also get the sales representatives in Africa only in that meet these two conditions, Africa and South Africa. So to do that, the sales representative that I want to be filtered should be based on the country that is selected here. So in that case, what I'll do, I'll say filter my data. The first condition is what should be returned. What I want to be returned is in this column, comma, based on the country, which is in this column, being equal to whatever is selected in the country in the drop down. So when I do that, you can see when we select South Africa, South African representative is selected there, which you can confirm by going to South Africa, which is this one, and that is the name. So if I select another one, Nigeria, the representative for Nigeria is put here. So having got this, I can link this to my drop down here. So I need to put a drop down, insert, drop down. Then, first of all, I need to get the range that is L, L2, maybe to L10. So go here get from a range and my range is gonna be L2 to L maybe 10 and say okay okay so when I select Nigeria only Nigeria representative is selected there so I select that one. Then um, the last layer, what I want is to filter out amounts that relates to this representative who is in this continent, this country. And the name is this. What you need to do is say filter out what I want returned is what I specify first, which is this. This is how the filter function works. The condition should be that the continent is equal to what we have in the drop down there, comma. The country should be equal to what we have in the drop down there, comma. And the continent on the sales representative should be equal to what we have selected here. Then we close our brackets and there we go. It tells us a sales representative who's called Ahmed Musa is in Nigeria in the continent of Africa as 3000. So Continent of Africa, Nigeria, Musa, 3000. That's good. If I come test 
South Africa. Here it gives me an error, but I need to select the representative for South Africa and I get the amount as this first one here. Now I can go test America. Here I get errors, but the continents are okay here. Then representative, we have Smith and his amount is 10,000. So we can confirm that North America, US, John Smith, 10,000. Come down in your data, North America, US, John Smith, 10,000. So it works fine. So this is how you can use the drop down. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video.